What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, back doing some ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before this video even starts, you guys know the deal. Show some support by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support has been amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough for everyone who has subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, or even just tuned in to watch it. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys have no idea. But guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this Gen 1 team. I saw this rental code and had to use it. Just look at this team. This team looks amazing. All these Pokemon are from Generation 1, and they just look so cool. This team just works very well together. They look awesome together. But rocking in that front spot, we have this Cloyster. Rocking Skill Link. What Skill Link actually allows us to do is any move that can hit up to five times, they will always hit up to five times. So Rock Blast and Icicle Spear will be domination with this Cloyster. He's also rocking the White Herb as his abilities. So for Shell Smash, when we lower our stats, it will actually neglect and just cancel that out. It's also rocking Ice Shard as his fourth move. Then we can move on to this Charizard with Blaze and Life Orb. Life Orb will actually boost our attack a little bit, our damage a little bit, but we will actually take some health. You guys know how Life Orb works. Rocking the normal moveset with Flamethrower, Solar Beam, Dragon Pulse, and Hurricane, which is just a, like, it's just a typical moveset on a Charizard. But we got this Gengar here. Everyone loves Gengar. Gengar is just a beast. I've been using them lately, and I love them in singles. Rocking that Focus Sash and Cursed Body is its ability with Icy Wind, Sledge Bomb, Shadow Ball, and Energy Ball. Definitely a cool moveset on him. He has Sledge Bomb and Shadow Ball for stab moves. Then we have this Moxie Choice Bandit Gyarados with Crunch, Facade, Waterfall, and EQ. And that is a cool move to have on uh, Gyarados, EQ. You don't really see it too much. Then we got this Choice Scarf Raichu. I've been using Raichu a lot lately. He's definitely a great Pokemon. With Full Switch, a Fairy Move, Draining Kiss, Surf, and Thunderbolt. We have Surf and Draining Kiss as some coverage moves for this Pokemon and for this team, which is nice. Then we got Machamp. I'm actually very excited to use Machamp. I haven't used him in ranked battles yet. He's rocking Guts and that Flame Worm. The Flame Worm will actually put the burn on him and trigger Guts. Guts will actually boost our damage and our attack, I think, by 50% when we're under, under a burn or a poison or a paralyze, something like that. He's rocking Facade, Knock Off, Close Combat, and Bullet Punch for first move priority. Dude, this team is hype. I cannot wait to show it off to you guys if you'd like to use this team for yourself. You guys know the deal. Learn the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely check it out. Try it out. Use it on the ladder. Let me know how you guys do. Also, let me know for question of the day. What Pokemon would you like to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate or in the next Smash Bros. game? I would love to hear you guys' feedback. I really don't have a Pokemon that... I really think should be in it. Maybe Machamp. Machamp looks like he could be in Super Smash Bros. But I feel like you guys have some awesome ideas. And I would love to hear what you guys think. But without further ado, let's hop on into these battles. Let's go, guys. Let's get rolling with this team. This guy's rocking the Cinderin's Corviknight, Toxtricity, Thievul. Ooh, a little bit of Thievul action. You don't really see that. Same thing with that Noivern. You don't really see Noivern too much. And that Lucario. We're definitely rolling in with Charizard. Charizard does some absolute work. He's so versatile here, especially his uh, fire. His fire does absolute work with Stab and that Life Orb. So come on down, Charizard. You are in here. Same thing with Cloyster. We're going to bring Cloyster here. I love Cloyster. Such a good Pokemon. So Cloyster. And then do we go Machamp. Guts Machamp could be dangerous. This Machamp could be dangerous. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, dude. Let's rock it out. Same thing. We get that first move priority with that bullet punch. We roll out Cloyster. Does he have an electric Pokemon? He does have an electric Pokemon. I might just roll into Machamp right off the bat. Like, I want to roll Cloyster, but that if he rolls Toxtricity right off the bat, that's a GG for him. That'll take out my Cloyster easily. Um, let's roll out with uh, let's roll out with our boy Machamp here. Can we kill Gengar instead? No, nah, I want to keep my Charizard here. I really do want to keep my Charizard. Uh, then we're going to roll in Charizard in the last spot. I was going to uh, switch out that Charizard for the Gengar and lead that Gengar. Because that, that would have been a smart play to use Focus Sash too. But I think Charizard is a great play also. Because he's so versatile in that Fire Stab with the Life Orb. Does some work. But guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, you guys know the deal. Head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. I stream 4 plus days. Every single week, it is tons of fun. If I'm live, come hang out, chat up. I would love to talk to you guys. If not, hit that follow button, ring the notification bell, so swing by later. Dang, we should have led our Cloyster. We should have led the Cloyster. The Cloyster would have been huge. But we're going to rock out here. We are super effective here. Uh, do I go for the knockoff? Or he might go for the swap. I think I'm going to roll out with the knockoff here. Predicting the swap. Is he going to swap? He's not going to swap. He's going to go straight for a sucker punch here. We eat that up all day. We're going to knock off his item here. Which is fine. We could have just probably tanked that thing up. But I'd rather just knock off its item. In case it is Focus Ash. Was it Focus Ash? Because we hit knock off. And then it uh didn't do anything. So I think it was Focus Ash. We can go into a close combat. And then eventually swap out. That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a dig. He's going to go for a dig. We're going to swap out into our Charizard here. And uh, dodge that dig. Easily. Easily. Because we are flying. Because we are flying. This thing is not Mold Breaker. I did not see it pop up to the stage. We are burned with Guts. 
But you know, our boy Charizard is going to come flying out here and do some work. Dodges get a free swap in. Then we can potentially just start punking on this thing. We can just start punking on it. But look at this. This whole team is shiny. This whole team is shiny. They look gorgeous. Like, look at Charizard. Looks like a beast. Does not affect me. That's awesome. Now we're going to roll out into a... We're going to dine here. I really don't want to dine. We might just Dragon Pulse. We can Flamethrower. Get that stab going. Yeah, let's just go for a stab Flamethrower. That's our best bet. What's he going to do? He's going to go for a Sucker Punch. We will eat that up. No problem. Mwah. Go into a little bit of Flamethrower action. Let's go Yagi. Does that take? Does that take him out? That might take him out. Yes, sir. Stab Life Orb Flamethrower. Beautiful. Hence the reason I brought the Charizard. That stab and that Life Orb does some work. That's some absolute work. We still have that Cloyster in the back end, which is beautiful with that white perm. Which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Toxtrus is going to pop out here with the lightning. With the lightning, I kind of want to stay in here. I think we will outspeed. Do I really want to stay in here? Hmm. What is it called? Do I really want to stay in here? I don't want to Dynamax, but I am going to stay in here. I'm going to say we outspeed and we get a stab flamethrower off. Let's see, yeah, we do outspeed, and we might go down after this. We could potentially kill here with this sad point, though. That's some work. See, look how much damage that did, which I'm fine with. I can totally roll into the, what's called here? The Machamp, go into a bullet punch, and we're chilling. We're chilling. Okay, nice play. We'll take out our charge on, and we still have that Cloyster in the back end. Like, you just love Cloyster. You just love Cloyster. I'm going to just go into a bullet punch, and then potentially Dynamax my Machamp. Because the way Cloyster works, he's not too good Dynamax. He's better with his skill link and his regular moveset. So I'd rather get my Dynamax after I bullet punch on this thing. Let's see, Bull Punch comes out. This will take it out, which is beautiful. But guys, you guys can see my voice. Is this like the third video in a row or something? My voice is on fire still. Not up to par yet. But we're still pumping out that content for you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Our guts is going off here. What is it? I think it's a 50% attack boost. Or damage boost with guts, which is beautiful. You got to be on a burn poison or something else. We used to go out into Lucario. Dude, that's night night. We're going to hit the max knuckle here. Max Knuckle coming out here. We're chilling. We're chilling. I think that's the game. Quick, easy GG in a can. Did he Dynamax? No, he did not Dynamax. Yet. We're both going to Dynamax here. Unless he didn't Dynamax, because I would think it's Lucario outspeeds me. I would think it's Lucario outspeeds me. Unless he didn't Dynamax. And then we outspeed him. That would be hilarious. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how this rolls out. He does outspeed us. He's going to go for a Dragon Pulse. We will eat that up. No problem. This should be game. We should one-tap this up unless it's Focus Ash. That's GG. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax. See you later. Oh, he is Focus Ash. Dude, Guts does some work. Does absolute work. He's going to pop off his Focus Ash. And he's probably going to Dynamax here. Unless he just knows the game's over and he's just kind of like running out. Like, we're chilling here. We're totally chilling here. We will eat up another shot regardless of whatever it is. But that stab Max Knuckle does some work. Does some work. He's not going to Dynamax. He's just going to go into another Dragon Pulse. He knows the match is over. He knows it is over, and we're going to finish this off here. Just dominate with this team right off the bat. Early. Right off the Rippo, baby. Right off the Rippo. But we didn't even get to show off Cloyster. Cloyster is a beast. He can totally sweep out with his skill link and his Rock Blast and his Icicle Spear. It does some work. Ooh-wee. Look at this guy's team. This guy's rocking Vile Plume, Dragon Pulse, Charizard, T-Tar, Gengar, and a Gyarados. I'm starting to see more Gengars get played in singles, which is awesome, dude. I love Gengar. I love Gengar. Um, we're definitely going to be rolling out with our Cloyster. Do we lead Cloyster? I think Cloyster is a great lead against this team. I really do. We're going to go Cloyster in that front spot. We're going to roll... Do we roll Machamp in the back end? Machamp with that bullet punch could come up strong. Let's go Machamp in that back end, dude. Then do we go with the Gar? We can go with the Gar. Gar could be strong. Considering we have two physical attackers and a special attacker would be nice. So either Charizard, Raichu, or the Gar. Or the Gar. Who are we going to go with? Hmm. Hmm. I think the Gar could be good. I'm going to go in with that Gar. The Gang of the Gars. Machamp and Gengar here. Here we go. Cloyster's rocking that front spot. Considering he's not really... Maybe his uh, Dragon Pole has a lightning move. But I don't see anything that has a lightning move on his team. So we're going to be starting off with that Cloyster. Try to go into a Shell Smash here. And just start rocking out. Potentially get a sweep. Potentially get a sweep with the Cloyster. Dude, Cloyster is just... So good if you can set up with him. And I love that white herb on him. Who's he going to lead? The Vile Plume is going to get that lead. Um, Do we swap here? I see us out speeding. Do we swap here or do we go straight for an Icicle Spear? I see him putting me to sleep. I see we just go into an Icicle Spear. Before we go into our white herb. Let's see how he rolls out here. Let's see. Let's see. This thing is special, isn't it? So this thing could do some work. 
I'm just, I'm just gonna drop an ice ice shard here. Or not ice shard, icicle spirit. Do some work on him. Bill, yeah, dude, he's done. He's done. <laughs> Yo, dude, this guy's murked. Murked on. And we still have our shell smash. <laughs> dude, let's go. Two crits. Two crits. Whoa. Dude, we got two crits on this fool. Two crits on this boy. Okay, okay. We're chilling, we're chilling. We still have a shell smash, dude. Nice call by me. Just go straight into that icicle spear. I thought it would do big damage and potentially take him out, but not that big of damage. He's gonna go into his characters here. Um, we're gonna roll into a shell smash here, and then we can just go into a rock blast and work on him. Intimidate's going to pop off here. Oh no, it's gonna take off our white herb. It's gonna take off our white herb. Are we still going to a shell smash? We can just go straight into a rock blast. Dang, dude, that intimidate took off our white herb. Um, I don't see us outspeed. No, I see us outspeeding after the shell smash. So hopefully this guy outspeeds us to begin with. Our defense is down. We're going to go for the shell smash right now. Let's see. No, he doesn't. He might take us out here. He might take us out here because our defense is poo-poo now. I, I thought maybe the characters would outspeed and then get a hit on us. But now we have to eat. If we eat up a shot, we will be chilling. But what's called, we'll take him out. The rock bites. Bite? Let me eat up a bite. What you going for a bite for? What you going for a bite for? That's, dude, our cloister's sweeping here. Our cloister is sweeping here. Rock Blast will take out Garrus probably in two hits with the Shell Smash. What do you mean? What you mean? You avoid the attack. Get out my face, little boy. Get out my face. Do we go for another Shell Smash? Nah, I'm not, I'm not going for it. I'm just going to go for a Rock Blast. This thing is going to dodge our attack because we do go first. What do you mean he avoided the first one? Bounce, we should eat. Okay. That's payback. That is payback for us missing an attack. But he should die now. I don't get why this guy's still chilling in here with the Gyarados. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? What you want? Get out of here. Boop. Rock Blast going to take him out in three shots. See how strong Cloyster is, man? It's like, come on. It's like, come on, boy. Like, come on, man. You done. You done. Like, we're not even going to Dynamax yet. We're not even going to Dynamax because Cloyster not too good under Dynamax. He's better off with his skill link. Or what is it? Skill link, right? Is his ability. And he just rocks out here after you get a shell smash off. T-Tar's going to pop out here. Okay. Okay. I'm fine by it. I can see this T-Tar potentially taking out my cloister. Not going to lie. I can see this getting one hit off on him. Uh, do we go for a rock bias? Now we're going to go for a icicle spear considering it is stabbed with the cloister. It is stabbed, baby. It is stabbed. Dude, do we take out the tar? Do we take out the tar with this? He's going to Dynamax. Which I'm chilling with. We're, I'm perfectly fine with it. Because we have that Machamp in the back. Machamp can go for a bullet punch. Or we can go for a max steel spike and just swamp on it. We can just swamp on it. Well, let's go. Let's go. What you want, fool? What do you want, dude? Cloister coming in hot. He's coming in hot. Let's see what happens. Let's go spirit. Yeet. Yeah. Not going to kill it, but it's going to do some work. Going to do some work on a Dynamax T-Tar. Jeez, man. Cloyster is OP. Look at this, guys. <laughs> it's so annoying when you're bursting it, but it's so much fun when you are using the Cloyster. Like, I remember I would be like this. I'd be like, oh my god, why is this Cloyster in the game, man? But this Max Rockfall will take us out here. So, that's fine. Who do we roll out into? We could roll out into... Didn't we bring Gar? I think we brought Gar, yeah. We're going to roll out into a Gar and Dynamax our Gar. Just go into a max overgrowth. Just go into a max overgrowth. Because our guard will survive one hit with the focus ash. And we could and we can't get off a max overgrowth here. This is his last Pokemon. I'm saving my Machamp for the end here. Because we can go into a bullet punch. Get first move priority. Just slap him up. Just slap him up. Say night night. But I think this max overgrowth will take him out. I really do. Actually, maybe not. Because it's not stab. It is not stab. Tis not stab. <laughs> Dude, my voice needs to get better, man. Not up to par yet, but it stinks, man. It stinks. All I want to do is make content, play some Pokemon. Let's go, Max Overgrowth. What do we got? What do we got? Dead? Dead? Yep, he is dead. Let's go. Let's go. GG, baby. That's how we rock out with this team. This team, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, though. Everything about it. Dude, that Koi sort rocked out for us that game. And our Gengar just, just came in there, gave him a little flick to end this match off, which is awesome. Which is awesome. But yeah, that just shows like how strong Cloyster is. He can just sweet teams if you let him set up.
What is this guy doing? He has a Raboot on his team. Kind of scary. It could be Evo Light. Could be trying to do something dangerous. I don't know what he's doing. But he's also rocking that Dreadnought. That Gengar, dude, like I said, we're seeing a lot of Gengars, which is cool. Which is cool, dude. Like, season one, you didn't see too many Gengars, like, in ranked battles and all that. But, like, he's here. He's here to stay. He's got the Royal Boom, the Orb Beetle. Orb Beetle is sick. I cannot wait to show off the team with him. And the Quarter Knight. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. I think Cloyster can rock out here. Once again. I'm going to go Cloyster. Machamp. I'm going to bring that Machamp. Do I bring that Charizard? Or do I... Yeah, Charizard. Oh, my God. Yes, Charizard. We're going to lead that Zard. No, we don't lead that Zard. We're going to lead the Machamp here. Get Machamp to show off a little bit. And go into the Cloyster and that Zard here. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. This dude, my Charizard goes off on this team. Goes off. Stab, Life Orb, Flamethrower. Woo! GG in a can, baby. Like, you can just take it off the shelf, and it just says GG on the can. You just pop it over. Glug, glug, glug. GG, it's over with Charizard. <laughs> but we're rocking out here. Let's see. Rillaboom gets the lead. We should have led our boy to Charizard. We probably could have swept with him, but it's fine. We have guts on this thing. We have guts. Look at this thing. Look at the Rillaboom. He's just... Like, moving back and forth very, very quick. We're going to go for the knockoff right off the bat. We're going to knock off his item. See what he is holding. He's going to go for a drum beating. We won't eat that up. We will eat that up. Nice and dandy. Mwah. He's going to drop our speed. He does outspeed us anyway. Knockoff is going to pop off here. We're going to take off his item. See you later, Miracle Seed. Burn's going to pop off. And our guts is going to trigger here. So, I can see us taking him out here. We're going for a facade. Oh, the attack moves doubled. If these just... Yeah, we're going for a facade. Night, night. Night, night, buddy. He's going to go for an uproar here. That's fine. That's fine by us. You're dead. You were dead. Facade, we'll take you out here. Mwah. Base 140 now. Base 140 because it is double because we are burned. Dude, with that guts too, like, whoo. Facade does some work. Does some work, dude. This team is awesome, dude. I really do love it. I would love to get, like, a Gen 2 team now. If they have enough Pokemon in this game. The only thing that sinks, I think they should have added an extra, like, 100 Pokemon of, like, the top Pokemon that people use in ladder. That would have been cool. Like, so, there, there could be a total of 500. We go for a Bullet Punch here. Let's just go for a knockoff. I can see this thing taking us out. Potentially Dynamaxing. Let's see. He's going to go for a Hex. Can we eat? Can we eat? We do not eat. That will take us out. That's fine. That's fine. Machamp rolled in there. Used his guts. Did some work. And do we roll into our Cloyster now? Roll into our Cloyster. Let's roll into our Cloyster here. Start setting up. Because, uh, I don't think this Gengar's rocking a grass move like mine. I don't think he's rocking an energy ball. Plus, once we get this Shell Smash off, we will be able to outspeed. We might be able to outspeed in general because, uh, Cloyster's rather fast. He's rather fast. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a Sucker Punch. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh wee! We're not even going for an attack move. His Sucker Punch fails because we're not going for an attack move. Now it's like game over. Like, game over. He just screwed himself over, man. <laughs> We're rocking it out, dude. This team. This Cloyster, man. White Herb makes our defense go back to normal. Now, check out these stats, boys. Check out these stats. Our defense usually goes down, and our special defense goes down, and all these stats raises. But since that White Herb goes in, our defense goes back to normal, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. And we're just going to rock into an Icicle Spear, considering it is sad. And we should just be able to uh, end this game. We should be able to end this game here. A night night to your Gengar. He's cursed body. Icicle Spirit is disabled. Can we keep going with this move? Yeah, we do keep going. So we cannot use it anymore. So it's basically game over here unless he has something that can eat up a rock move. A rock blast and take us out. Let's see, dude. Beautiful, dude. That shell smash is nasty. It's nasty. Corbinite. Okay, that's game. That's game. Is Corbinite super effective with the rock? Right? Unnerved. No berries. That's fine by me. We're not even holding Barry. No, he is not. But this still could potentially take him out. Let's see. Let's see what this Quiver does. Probably going to Dynamax. Could be a Gigantamax. Could be a Gigantamax. He does not Dynamax. <gasps> we miss? Psh. That's GG, baby. That's GG. That's GG. Get out of my face, little boy. Na -na. Why isn't he Dynamaxing? Oh, no. He can't eat up a shot. But why isn't he Dynamaxing? That's my question. That is my question. Here comes a fifth rock blast. Can we get a crit and end this bad boy? No, we do not. I think he just knows the match is over. Joe Peck's gonna pop out here. That's stab. Psh, GG, baby. GG. Let's go. 
That's how you rock out with this team, baby. That is how you rock out with this team, dude. Hoister setting up. Game over. GG to can. I think we had two matches like that where the guy didn't die max at the end because I think he knew it was over. And he kind of just wanted, wanted it to end. But that's how it's done. That's how it's done, dude. You can set up a Hoister. Like I said, it's just that easy. This Gen 1 team was awesome, dude. I seriously loved it. I just loved everything about it. Just all the Pokemon in it looks so sick. I would change a few things on this team. Like maybe uh, giving that Gengar like a nasty plot or that giving that uh, Gyarados a Dragon Dance in order to set up. But other than that, dude, I really did like this team. I loved everything about it. That Cloisters can set up, which is nice. The Charizard is just phenomenal. Gengar's Gengar, dude. Everyone loves Gengar. Like I said, I would have gave him nasty plot, which would have been nice. Same thing with that Gyarados. He's always so good, especially with Moxie. But if we would have gave him uh, Dragon Dance, it would have been a little bit better. Raichu's awesome. We didn't get a chance to show him off but i showed him off in videos before but he has a cool move set with that draining kiss and surf for coverage and that machamp we showed off that machamp with guts and flame worm which was awesome which was awesome i love how this team was also shiny kind of brought it out a little bit more but i would love to get like a gen 2 team that would be dope just like only gen 2 pokemon but i don't know if they added enough pokemon in this game for us to do a cool gen 2 team but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you would like to use this team, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to smash that like button for me. Click that subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.